Hello, I'm Lion Stephanie O'Dell. I'm District 19G's Global Membership Team Coordinator, and recently I've been presenting at Zone meetings with the topic of focus on membership. If you've missed a Zone meeting, or if you just want a refresher on what we covered, this is the video for you. Again, I want to start with a message from our international president, Lion Douglas Alexander. He says, Dear Lion, the new year is a time of great personal reflection and hope for the future. It is an opportunity to celebrate your achievements, build on your successes, and find new ways to do even greater things in the months ahead. As Lions, let's use this opportunity to reflect, renew, and ready ourselves for a new year of service. That begins with each of us. So focus on strengthening your club and the incredible connection you share and encourage each other to grow to your full potential as lions and community leaders. Because when we ensure that every lion has the opportunities to live out the service in their hearts, the best is yet to come. Yours in service, Douglas X. Alexander, International President. I'd also like to mention that our district governor, Marilyn Patterson, in her January newsletter, has an article called A Vision for Tomorrow. And I'll just read you one sentence that Marilyn has in that article. She says, in the coming year, may we sustain our vision for tomorrow, seek new members, support our motto we serve, and keep Lions Clubs thriving. So both of those mes messages are talking about um, what we can do in the new year. And, and thus the topic focused on membership. Effective community groups like the Lions Club re require a strong membership to support projects, lead initiatives, and involve new people. And now that our Lions Clubs have had a few months to get new fiscal year underway and the holidays are out of the way, this is a good time to promote membership topics. And today we will talk about some of uh, some concepts around membership. So we'll talk about member acquisition member recognition, member development, member engagement, and member satisfaction. First, member acquisition. This is really about getting new members and member growth. So some ideas that I've gathered from all of you Lions Clubs uh, that seem to be working, develop a list of potential Lions in your networks. And that means look at the different networks of people you're involved with your family, your friends, uh, people that have similar hobbies or clubs that you're in, your coworkers. Uh, and when you're involved with those different networks, think about who of these people might be a good lion and put that list together. And then as a club, maybe challenge each other or check in with each other uh, to see if those potential uh, lions um, maybe can get invited to a service project or invited to a social function. Another way to get new members is to identify opportunities for partnerships in service. So perhaps do a service project uh, at the local school or um, even partner with the local Rotary or Kiwanis Club and you will meet people that way find similar service-minded people and interests, and maybe they can become new lions in your club. Another way to get new members is to make sure that people know your club exists. So promote your club, market your club, uh, write newsletters, get in, get in those little local newsletter newspapers. Those are always fun to read and you can learn about things that are going on in your local community. One of those things could be your Lions Club. Also, don't be afraid to use social media. Get a Facebook page or an Instagram. Post pictures of things that your club is doing. Um, that may attract people and uh, they might want to come in 
and and join in all the fun of doing service and the camaraderie. So make sure that you promote your club so that people are aware you exist. The next topic is member development. And some ideas for member development are, you know, once we get new members, we have to make sure they know uh, what Lions Club is all about and what your particular club is all about. So make sure to conduct a, a new member orientation. And this can be done in many different ways. Uh, some clubs have a very structured way of doing it. Uh, some clubs do this like one-on-one. -on -one. I know that I've heard a lot of clubs say that the new member orientations are actually very helpful for all members. And so they include all members uh, in their new member orientation. Um, but make sure to do that orientation and give people a chance to ask questions and learn about things. And it always helps to invite the, the members that have been there for two or three years because that's when they start um, having even more questions and learning more about the organization. Another way to develop new members is to have a mentor uh, or a shadow. So as senior members, that have been with the club for a long time are doing um, projects or leading projects, assign one of the new members to be their shadow. And so the new member can learn about that alongside the senior member and transfer that knowledge and those leadership skills to the new member. So that's one other way to develop new members. And also uh, LCI and your multiple district and this district, uh, we have uh, many different trainings and learning opportunities for new lions. So encourage the new lions to go on to My Lion and click on the Learn tab and find some learning opportunities. Uh, there's also Lions University where they could learn uh, about lions. Uh, I, one of my favorites is I just go to YouTube and type in Lions University and find a plethora of uh, videos that are on YouTube about lions. So that's one way that I've learned a lot about lions. But uh, encourage new members to seek out uh, the way they like best to learn about lions. Next topic, member engagement. So we've got these new members. Uh, we've, we've developed them and oriented them to our club. Uh, we also need to make sure we are engaging them. So uh, when a new lion comes, uh, don't be afraid that you're going to overwhelm them if you have them do a service project. They're actually joined your club because they want to serve. So make sure that right away they are involved in service projects. Uh, even uh, ask them, like, is there some particular passion you have, some, some service area you're interested in? and maybe even create brand new service projects based on how they want to serve. Uh, some some uh, members uh, prefer doing fundraisers. It's really exciting to them to raise money, uh, while others really enjoy hands-on service projects. And some people uh, really like the social aspect, and yet others like more of the uh, district functions and things like that. So make sure that you have a balance and uh, is covering all of those different needs that your membership might have with fundraisers and service and social and other functions. Next is member recognition. We're all volunteers and we don't have a paycheck so you can't really give us a pay bonus. So uh, one thing we can do to recognize our members is to thank them, to praise them, praise them freely and frequently, uh, praise them for small things, praise them for large things, but just saying thank you or we appreciate you or that was a really great thing that you did or whatever it is, no matter how big, no matter how small, make sure you let your members know that you recognize their effort, and that what they've done is truly appreciated. Uh, it also is okay really to ask them, you know, how would you like to be rewarded? Um, is there something, you know, that, that you would enjoy? Would you like a 
plaque. Uh, mm -hmm. Not everyone wants a plaque to put on their wall. So maybe they say, you know, I, I don't really want a plaque or a certificate, but you know, a cup of coffee at the, at the local coffee roaster would be nice. So maybe, you know, go out for a cup of coffee instead. Uh, and, and the third idea here for member recognitions um, are some of the fellowships that we offer through Lions Clubs. So at the, through Lions Clubs International Foundation, uh, we are able to recognize people with Melvin Jones fellowships. So that is one way to give recognition for appreciating a member, either their length of service or something very helpful that they've done for the community or the club. Another fellowship is called CARE, and that is Multiple District 19's fellowship. Uh, through that program, you can honor someone with a Gordon Smith Fellowship. So if that is interesting to you, and if you, if you think one of your members or multiple members uh, deserve recognition, please do consider one of those fellowships. And the last topic I want to talk about today is member satisfaction. So you've got new members, you've got them developed, they're engaged, you're recognizing them, you think they're satisfied, but you're not really sure. What can we do to make sure we have member satisfaction? We could ask them. Assess your current member satisfaction. You could do a survey. You could talk to them. You could call them up on the phone. You could give them a piece of paper and tell them, you know, write down what you think. You could have a social event, brainstorming. But ask them, are you satisfied? How are things going? What can we do even better? What type of projects would you like to do? That just asking them how they want to serve and what they want to do will increase member satisfaction. And then after you uh, assess your membership and ask them, develop a plan to ensure that you have membership, membership satisfaction. Uh, make sure that your board knows or your club leaders know, you know, this is what we've heard from the membership. And so this is our plan uh, of what we would like to do. And having a plan and writing it down actually does help quite a lot uh, in making sure that happens. So I just wanted to mention to you today that there are multiple resources. Many of the resources are online. So you can go to lionsclubs.org and find many resources. Also our multiple district and our district have uh, people and online resources as well. You can reach out to me, Stephanie Odell, and I can help you find things that might be helpful to you. If your club has a club membership chairperson, bravo. If you don't, uh, you might want to think about uh, assigning someone or asking someone to volunteer or nominating someone to be the club membership chairperson. Uh, that The club membership chairperson has many resources online. And if you don't have a membership chairperson, someone, you know, anyone can see these resources. Uh, the, there's a job description posted, there's a club membership chairperson guide, and there's an ebook. Uh, there's also a membership chairperson toolbox that has many things in it that could be helpful uh, when we focus on membership. If you have any questions, let me know. And I will leave you today with a quote from Helen Keller. I am only one, but still I am one. I cannot do everything, but still I can do something. And because I cannot do everything, I will not refuse to do the something that I can do. So as we start the new calendar year, why don't you give it a try? Try some of these membership ideas, try something new, and see if it makes a difference in your club. Thank you.